Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally home. I was up in Sheffield for the last few days. Been a long week. I just wanted to get in there and do the business. And I did it. I did it, man. And I saw all of you there wearing your childish hoodies. I saw all of the tweets. Thank you all so, so much, man. It has been an absolute pleasure to be part of this event. It was absolutely insane. Excuse me if I look rough, by the way. I, like, I went to sleep at about 6 o'clock in the morning. I just... I had so much adrenaline running through me. I literally could not sleep at all, no matter how long I was closing my eyes. So I've had about two hours sleep. Luckily, I didn't get hit with any big shots or anything. So I'm rock free, concussion free. I'm good. I'm healthy. That is the main thing. So I've got the whole fight in front of me on my computer downloading right now. While that's downloading, I'm going to kind of talk you through how I felt on the night and later on in this video, we're going to go through the fight, watch it together. I'm going to talk you through what happened, basically. I guess we start with the press conference, really. That was the first time I saw my opponent, Churdlis. Very peculiar character. I'll give him that, like he's a comedic genius. He knew exactly what he was doing and he played the game well. Like he didn't come in there to win a fight, he came in there to grow his platform, he came in there to have fun, and he and he definitely mixed it up a little bit for people, like, the guy is hilarious, man, like, I really appreciated what he did, but it was weird, because I know so many of you were thinking, like, why is Jay, like, really tight and serious for this whole thing, and I was aware of it, at the end of the day, I'm getting in a ring with 10 ounce gloves, no head guards, you can get seriously hurt in there, and the last thing I wanted to do was be taking this as a joke, because I didn't want to get hurt, I let Churdlis have the limelight in this one, yeah! I let him be the talker, I, let, I was allowing him to be the funny guy. And everyone's saying they've only been like two weeks without sex. I've been my whole life without <laughs> sex. I'm the first unprofessional boxer there who's a virgin. I was there to win, I was there to fight, and that was it. But I did exactly what I said I was going to do. I was going to knock him out in the first round. But we'll get into my performance in a second. I've already been called out by a couple of people. There's names already floating about on who I'm going to go for next and who who the next opponent should be. Obviously, you've got the Gibb fight, which is going to be further down the line. That can't be right now. There's the King Kenny fight, which is a potential, maybe. There's a couple of others. But yeah, overall, I was, I was happy with my performance. The one thing that I was the happiest about was probably how composed I was during the whole build-up and how normal or made it feel for myself walking out onto that stage and i just absorbed it i absorbed it and i used it as an energy i didn't let it intimidate me i didn't let any nerves get to me i walked out onto that stage and i felt zero nerves and this is the thing with boxing i guess when you've done all of the work you've got nothing to worry about with a gib fight four years ago it was a completely different story i was walking out it's very tight very stiff i had a lot of adrenaline I didn't know what to do. I just felt like a robot. I was like, whoa, what am I getting into, into here? This fight, it wasn't like that. I knew what the outcome was going to be before I even got in there. So I just had to kind of relive that moment in my that was going on in my head. Do you get me? Honestly, guys, the feeling, yeah, the feeling of seeing your friends and your family and the people that truly love you ringside, it, it, like when you get that win, it is... An amazing, amazing feeling. I've not ever felt anything like that. But without further ado, let's get straight into watching the fight. This is the first time I'm watching the fight from the start to the finish. I've only seen clips floating about online at the moment. So I get the pleasure of watching this from start to finish with you guys and sharing it with you on my channel. Let's do this. I wonder what his ring walk was like. I know he's wearing some long cape. Oh. Why is it that long? <laughs> this is this guy's. He's great. Oh, man's got a microwave in the back. <laughs> Wade's confused. Man, the stadium had a crazy atmosphere. Why's he got? Why's he got a cape that long? Man, this is scarring for me. It's a little scarring. I'll talk. I'll talk about that in a second. My walk up music. ACDC, Highway to Hell. That's me. That's me. <laughs> I look good, man. I look good. I'm in shape. Cup of weight. Oh, nah, man. I'm happy, man. I'm happy. You can either let the, the crowd intimidate you and scare you, or you can rise to it. You can look around and absorb it and just say to yourself, this is my night. And that's exactly what I did. I didn't, I didn't let it intimidate me or make me feel, you know, scared in any way. I didn't feel nervous at all. Content for his YouTube. He 
The music choice had a lot to do with that as well. Instantly, I get in the ring and I wanted to just move around and enjoy it. That's my ring, you know, making my stamp on there. This is just such a sick event. This is just such a sick event. Got everyone singing to my song choice, you know. Ah, let's go. There's JJ having having JJ ringside and Simon and Mams and that was just so sick. So here you could see me just kind of like moving around the ring, like, and he stood still. I'd never wanted to be doing what Chirdlis was doing, so I know I'd stiffen up and I'd know I'd lose the momentum. I had this rhythm in my head. It was like a metronome playing, and I was trying to move to that metronome and just like you know enjoy it, feel a beat. To all in attendance. Oh man, okay. So, I gotta talk about something here. As you just saw, I was like walking around the yeah. ring here. And I look at Chirdley's now. This is the point where I saw his whole demeanor change. And like, I, I saw him break a little bit. This event has really hit him now. And what's about to happen is like, it's starting to sink in. The, the facade and the character's not there anymore. Does that make sense? It was, it was, it wasn't nice to see. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If I wasn't in fight mode, I probably would have wanted to go and hug the guy. But at this point, I'm in kill mode. The fact that I just saw his face expression change from like this, being this funny guy to this like intimidated human being in the corner. It was, it was over, man. I knew I'd won. And I turned to my coach now and said it. And That's what I said to my coach. He's scared. There we go. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. There we go. That's what I like to see. Let's go, Charlie's bro. Let's go. <laughs> His announcement was spot on. That's me. That's me. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Just get them moves off. Hey, get the moves off. Limber up. Hey, lads, we've had our instructions in the changing rooms. You know exactly what I expect. Protect yourself. Look at me, place. man. I'm in, I'm in a very different serious mindset to what people are used to here. It was a, it's weird watching it back. I don't know what to expect. Todd, they told Churdley's start fast. And Jay's message, he was saying it to everybody in the arena. Seconds out. By night. First round. I walked straight to him. I thought he was going to come with more energy. See, he got me. I, I really, I respect the fact that he met me with his, I think it was the right hand. I thought he was just going to come out swinging. At that point, I was like, okay, maybe he knows what he's doing a little bit. Okay. Oh. Hey, now look here. So that right there, it was a dip down and a jab to the body and dropped to my head. So he couldn't get me with his right hand and I got him with a body shot. And when I hit him with that one, I heard him go huh, like that. Cause it, it hit his solar plex there. Has a nice right hand. Oh. Oh, right hand. Counters, right. counters all right day. Away. His power did nothing to me. And this is what I was able to counter with ease. Well, Charlie's is fighting. He's there, Todd. Nice jab. He's got a little bit of skill, looks like. My distance in. My distance in was on point. I knew his distance. I think both guys gonna try to settle in a little There we go. I'm just waiting. At this point, I'm just waiting. Does I'm not gassing out. I'm not wasting any energy. For all I know, this could go four rounds, three minutes. That's a long time in that boxing ring. See, that is a mistake. Dropping that left hand and defending with my elbow. Keep doing that. And that's something i got to fix. I'm just here, waiting. Here we go. Bang. Oh, saw, nice. I saw the distance. Saw the distance again. Oh, oh right hand. Boy, Jay's punches are Wee. way harder. Good run. Oh, oh, good job from Jay. Watch the left hook. Good nice. We got to talk about that body shot. We got to talk about that body shot, ladies and gentlemen. When you see my head drop and I roll under like this, I was meant to come up with that left hook. But then I've come back up I've, and I've saw the distance was nice. I overextended the hook, but I still got him. And I was able to put enough power into it. And I heard the air leave him. I heard the <laughs> in him. And at that point, I knew, okay, he's going to cover up his that body then. So I was meant to go bang then. The there we go. But I got it. That hurt him. Because of that body shot, he dropped his hands. Body shot. Drops his hands there. It hurt him. It hurt him. Now is when it gets brutal. I walked over to my corner and I just knew I had it. I wasn't heavy breathing at all. I was remaining calm. That metronome was still going in my head and I was trying to breathe and, and, and focus on that pattern. Wade did an amazing job. And Kenny, to be fair. Get those gloves up, Chirdleys. It's over. Done. Horrible. Horrible. We gotta watch that again. 
Get those gloves up, Churdleys. Oh! Hey! And oh! Is that right, man? And I finished him with the jab. I can't celebrate this because it was a, it was too easy. But I guess I made it easy as well for myself by training so hard. I don't think you can say it's a mismatch when he agreed to fight me months and months prior where he could have got enough training in to actually be... He could have actually given me a decent fight if he put the work in, but it's obvious he didn't take it serious. It wasn't a mismatch at all. He could have come out and, and shocked everybody if he really wanted to. I had to go and check on him as well. He didn't seem very responsive when I was talking to him. He seemed to be a, just a little out of it, a little concussed, a little dazed. The right hand to the jaw must have knocked, rattled his brain a little bit, but he was okay. He was okay in the end. And the main thing is, yeah, I just wanted him to be healthy. You know, I wanted him to be okay. He's okay. He's okay. He looks fine. Mam's shown me a lot of support during the build-up and, and on fight night as well. He showed me support and it was really nice to go speak to him after I won. Jay That's me. That's me. I did it. I did it. Obviously, we had to have a picture together. I'm talking to my coaches. Oh, this is a great feeling. This is great to watch. Oh, man. That, that makes me so happy to watch. Just thought I'd throw this up. I'm so, so tired. So I'm probably going to go to sleep once I've uploaded this video. Thank you all so much for the support. I see all of your messages, all of your tweets. Let's take this energy and this support to me into my next fight. I'll be fighting next year. I promise you. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys very, very soon, man.